Iowa law has recognized the rights of injured workers since 1913. The law requires every employer to obtain workers' compensation insurance coverage or to be improved as a self-insured employer. However, even the best employer is not likely to tell you all you need to know. If you are injured at work, then Iowa law says that you have 10 basic rights, and we will share the first three with you here. Number one, lifelong medical care. Your employer and or their insurance company are responsible for paying for all medical care necessary to treat your work-related injuries. This includes all form of care and treatment, whether hospital, medical, therapy, nursing, diagnostic testing, surgery, physical therapy, or pain management. However, generally your employer and or their insurance company gets to choose your medical providers. The right to medical care and treatment may continue for the rest of your life for conditions that are related to your work injury. In addition to your medical care, you should be paid mileage going to and from your medical appointments. Number two, you always have the right to seek medical care from any medical provider that you choose. However, please keep in mind that your employer and or their insurance carrier will generally only pay for medical care that they have authorized or approved. So you or your health insurance company will likely have to pay for the treatment. There is a process called alternative medical care in which you can try to switch the medical care to someone you want to see. We explain this in more detail in our book. Along the same lines, you have the right to refuse any medical procedures or care that you do not want to have. Number three, you should know that in Iowa, there is a big difference in compensation between scheduled member injuries, like injuries to your hand, arm, fingers, leg, foot, compared to unscheduled member injuries, like injuries to your back, neck, shoulder, brain, pain syndromes like CRPS, or other conditions. Generally, if you've sustained a scheduled member injury, you will only receive your impairment rating. For example, the value of an arm is 250 weeks, and if you have a 10% impairment to your arm, then you would receive 10 times 250 weeks, which is 25 weeks of permanent benefits. However, keep in mind that you may be entitled to second injury fund benefits, if before your work injury, you had a prior injury or medical condition affecting a different hand, arm, leg, foot, or eye, then you may qualify for the second injury fund. Keep in mind that the first injury does not need to be work-related. If you have an unscheduled member injury, your benefits are based upon 500 weeks and your impairment rating, along with your permanent restrictions, age, education, and other factors determine the percentage of 500 weeks of benefits you will receive. So before you even consider settling your claim, you should at least know which type of claim you have. Iowans are beginning to realize that their employer and their insurance company are not there to help them with their work injury. To receive our Iowa Workers' Compensation book, which covers your other rights and much more, just click on the image of the book to the right of this video and the book along with a DVD called 21 Things to Know About the Iowa Workers' Compensation System will be sent to you right away at no cost or obligation. We offer our book and DVD at no cost because since 1997, we have seen far too many Iowans hurt at work who made costly mistakes, resulting in them losing thousands of dollars and sometimes their entire case. Finally, you can learn about Iowa workers' compensation laws in the comfort of your own home, so request your copy now. If you have any questions about your work injury or need immediate assistance and do not currently have an attorney, you can call me, Corey Walker, at 641-792-3595.